it's the last day of August. I tell you what, that is pretty grim. A little bit of drizzle, windy, but today we're checking this out. This little baby. This is 165 kilowatt 40 plate chiller from the malt miller. Came as a package, can't remember how much it was. I'll put a link to it underneath down there underneath this video what it does is it takes hot water and it passes through these plates and then comes out here going in the other direction is cold water from tap outside and that goes to the way then comes out here and just goes into the car park at the moment. The purpose of this video today is to check the ambient temperature, which at the moment is about 20 and a half degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna get this up to boiling. So 100 degrees Celsius. Throw that through here, measure pitching temperature in that bucket it's really starting to chuck it down now I've got to go out there and turn the hose on in a minute also what we're going to test is the input water temperature and after that's pretty much finished the output water temperature ambient temperature I'm going to record as being 20 degrees it's close enough 20 degrees now I've got to go out there in rain it's a tap on outside and then I can measure the tap flushing water, cooling water temperature. Now according to this, <laughs> the water temperature going through there is 19.4. It's only half a degree below ambient temperature. This is now coming up to uh, boil temperature. I've bypassed the thermo cut out in here so this will just boil and boil and boil um, but what we'll do is we'll pour into here and make sure we have got proper boil then we'll turn it off that will simulate flame out I think I really ought to do a, um, a measurement of uh, how long it takes to do the flow so um, you can see how long it takes to fill five litres Whoa! I'll fucking edit that bit out. Twat. <laughs> Maybe I won't. Right, uh, God. I don't know. Right, flow control. How long does it take to fill five litres? <laughs> Sometimes I shouldn't be allowed out on my own. Right, eight, nine. In 10 seconds. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 19, 20. I think 25, say 25 seconds. So that's probably going to be about 12 litres a minute, a little bit more at 19.4 degrees. We have at 20 litres. Yeah, I, I can see that. I don't know if you can. 20 litres, boiling away. Let's uh, just pour some in here. Right, 96, 95, 94. Right, but anyway, we'll simulate. We'll say that's going down because this is pretty cold. Um, so we'll simulate a flame out. I'm going to time this now. Um, I've got a stopwatch or timer. Uh, roughly 146. I should wait until it clicks over to 147, I suppose. No, I sod it. Uh, so I'm going to turn that on. So now we have water going into the plate chiller there. And coming.
way out there and I'll put my hand on there yeah quite warm <laughs> at one end obviously as it would be it's got boiling water going into it but it feels very cool there I'm going to take the probe out and drop it in there oops sorry do bear in mind I'm not a filmmaker and we'll see where that goes once that is full that's now empty oh, perhaps I didn't quite have the 20 litres in there um, that temperature in there is 24 degrees I'd pitch at that I'm having another go I've topped this right the way up now to 25 odd litres well, we'll see when it's in there um, right Delilah and um, when this boils which is going to be a little while yet uh, even though I'll put that back in there um, I'm going to try running it through slower so we've still got the same probably about 12 litres a minute maybe a little bit more on the cold water coming in um, the water leaving blindingly hot but I'm going to reduce the flow coming out of here because that did that in about two and a half minutes did, did well, probably about 16 17 litres in two and a half minutes so um, when it spoils it's going to be a while yet because I don't think it's got to look what temperature we are oh yeah oh, we've got a long way to go yet so I might go and have a coffee, come back when this is boiling and then see uh, with a reduced flow rate what temperature we get it down to. <laughs> we, have a, we have a rolling boil to the extent whereby it's boiling over. <laughs> um, lots of bubbling. I we'll check the temperature. And turn, ouch. That's like saying 93 and a bit. It's probably, I don't know. But we're going to simulate a flame out anyway. We'll turn that off. And plonk that down in there. And I'm going to time it this time to see how long it takes to fill the fermentation bucket and I'm going to restrict the flow on here so start and that's restricting the flow probably about half I'd have said that's full that's off so that's half And now I will pause and we'll come back when the bucket is full. I think I've restricted that a little bit too much. So two minutes in, we haven't done five litres yet. So I'm just going to crank it up another little notch. That's, that's fully open. So we'll call that, I don't know, three quarters-ish. So two and a half minutes and now we've got much more of a flow going through. Yep, that's good. Right, back soon. All well, that done. Look at that, almost bang on 10 minutes. Uh, a restricted flow. And temperature in bucket is a nice 20 degrees. So our ambient temperature here is 21 because the sun's come out, look bright shiny thing in the sky the water temperature is 19.4 degrees and I think that is a winner how much did we run through in that 10 minutes well um, I'd say 26 litres whoops 26 ish what do you think a lot anyway so 26 litres in 10 well just under and that's what's it under 10 minutes that is good 
if you have found this useful please consider clicking like um, all of the details are below I'm not connected to or have been incentivized in any way uh, by the malt miller um, but I do like their stuff and they're nice to deal with uh, and if you like the sort of stuff that I muck about with and the silly things that I do please consider subscribing to my channel thank you boys and girls I'll leave you with the money shot of that wonderful little 40 plate 165 kilowatt chiller from Malt Miller.